Hi friends. So this week started out really, really strong, but then really fizzled out by the end of the week. But first, if this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia and I post weekly keto updates on my weight loss journey. Almost not just a weight loss journey, but it's just a journey of overall better health. I share before and after pictures, what I ate, when I eat, how much weight I've lost and all of that. I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell next to it. And for those already subscribed, welcome back so as most of you saw last week girl I was just like what I never lost that that much weight in one week 11.8 pounds to be exact if you did not see it and it was just all of the weight that I gained from Thanksgiving I lost it all in one week so I've kind of been staying the same and so after that I was still feeling good, still trying to fast for 18 hours, and I was losing weight up until Thursday. And then starting Thursday, it was just like, what is going on? Before we talk about that too much, go ahead, watch what I ate, and then we will discuss after. Grand Rising, happy Monday. Time to eat. I'm hungry. It's 11.11 right now. I had to help the girls a lot with digital learning. Sorry, I had two tests, Ava had a test, and I kind of have to like sit there and help them manage in google classroom so anyway i'm about to tear this food up this is two scrambled eggs blueberries and a piece of sola bread two net carbs my normal afternoon pick me up this is just regular jiffy peanut butter and some lily's dark chocolate sugar free chips time check it is 248 y'all it's about 320 i'm trying to stay on this track i want to fast 18 hours tonight and going into tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead and make my dinner my dinner now my family is going to eat I took some ground turkey out. We're just gonna, they're gonna have spaghetti. Not we, they're gonna have spaghetti uh, with ground turkey. So for me, what I'm gonna do is I have this rice cauliflower stir fry. Now it's not really that keto friendly. It has five net carbs in a serving. There are five and a half servings in this. So you have to be really, not five and a half, four and a half. You have to be really careful. So I'm literally gonna measure out one cup of this and saute it because it has a lot of vegetables in it. It just looks really good. And I have some leftover chicken from that we had last night. We had oven fried chicken. This is what we have left and it's not enough to feed all of us. So I'm going to eat um, off of these for the next couple of days just for me. I'm going to slice, dice this chicken up, add it to my cauliflower stir fry. That's gonna be my dinner. And I'll probably have a salad with this as well. Directions seem pretty simple. And I wonder if I need to season it because cauliflower rice, if you don't season it, girl, it is, it just tastes like air. No, nobody wants air over here. So I might season it with like salt and pepper and stuff. But I have some butter melted in my nonstick pan and I will add my cauliflower rice in. It actually smells really good. Like it doesn't need anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I decided with the chicken that I'm just gonna put it on top of my salad because I think this would be great with my blue cheese dressing. But here's my meal for tonight. Cauliflower rice, add a little bit more butter to it. I think that's gonna be really good. And then I made my salad. I added strawberries, onions, half of that, that chicken piece that I showed you, like the full chicken half. So I will eat this other half tomorrow. Fresh black pepper and lots of my favorite blue cheese dressing, which is this one by Lighthouse. This one has one carb. Time check, it is 3.38. Happy Tuesday, friends. I am on my way to Costco, but I thought I would share with you my coffee. I'm drinking my coffee in the normal way. I normally make it with um, unsweetened vanilla coconut milk. I'm, I'm not driving physically, just let you know, I'm stopped. Um, with um, unsweetened coconut milk, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, liquid stevia and MCT oil, and it is 10 o'clock, so I did a full 18 hour fast. I forgot to use the app, but it was 18 hours because I stopped eating at four o'clock. I'm hungry y'all, I'm finally home, it's 1.47. I have two scrambled eggs with cheese, one piece of sola bread with butter, and two pieces of bacon. This is like, I guess brunch at this point. All right, y'all, it's time to cook dinner. It's 5.30. Unfortunately, I didn't make my four o'clock goal today because I was out and I ended up coming home you, as you guys saw and eating my brunch at one o'clock. So for dinner tonight, we are gonna have rice, salmon, and some asparagus. To my asparagus, I drizzle it in olive oil, then put um, salt, pepper, and garlic on it, and then some Parmesan cheese and toss it all around. I'm gonna put that in the oven along with my salmon. On my salmon, I have salt, pepper, garlic, and then I have this honey balsamic glaze on here. Now, this glaze is not keto friendly, not even close to being keto friendly. Instead of like cutting individual pieces for my family, I just put the whole slab on there, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle their half like this, their, their portion, which is the majority of it, with their glaze and then my portion with my glaze. Now I know it's gonna cross a little bit, but hey, 
it's all good it's not like i'm gonna eat this entire thing this is um balsamic vinegar minced garlic honey brown sugar and butter oh and the white vinegar so i'm gonna put it in the microwave melt it down then pour it on their section and then i'm gonna make my sauce up and i'll show you guys what that's gonna look like right, here's my sauce all it is is minced garlic balsamic vinegar i get this from costco and monk fruit sweet sweetener golden I get that from costco as well and some white vinegar then i'll melt that in the microwave and then i'll pour it on my section of the salmon all right i have my oven preheated to 400 degrees i have fresh lemon and onions on top i'm gonna enclose this Here's my piece with my sauce, even though they kind of intermingled. Here is the other sauce. You could tell it's like, my sauce is a little bit lighter. I added more butter to mine. Their sauce is a little bit darker. So it is what it is, girl. We just gotta make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up, put this in the oven 400 degrees for about 15 minutes, maybe 12 minutes, and then I'll broil it for a couple of minutes um, so that it gets like a nice crisp on top of it. And then it'll be time to eat. Dinner came out really good. I ended up putting the broiler on for like three minutes after the 15 minutes after cooked and it turned out really nice. And I had the asparagus on in there on the shelf underneath the um, salmon. And that turned out real good too. And I just took that out after 15 minutes. And so I'm gonna eat, I do have some extra sauce here. Gotta make this just my sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that on my salmon girl. And I'm about to tear this up. Yummy. I'm so looking forward to trying this tonight for my dessert. So excited. I forgot to tell you what time to eat. Oh, it was about 6.30. So I'm gonna have this for dessert tonight. Yummy. We have two scrambled eggs. Well, yeah, two scrambled eggs. Solo bread with butter. Two pieces of bacon, and this is going to be my breakfast. Time check, it is 11.43. Happy Wednesday. Coffee time. Time check, it is 12.02. I totally forgot to film. I'm on a Zoom call, y'all, and I totally forgot to film. This is my meal for tonight. It's super simple. It's just chicken breasts, mushrooms, broccoli, and a cream sauce with made with um, white wine, heavy cream, um, salt, pepper, garlic, par parsley, all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna serve this over rice for my family. And then my kids will just have rice and I save some chicken on the side. But this is gonna be our meal. I'll show you how I'm gonna fix my plate. All right, my call just ended and my family already ate. And so I'm going to season my rice. Thank you, Ace Bazaar. You're welcome. I use this corn jack rice. I'm not gonna eat all of it because it kind of makes me bloated, but I will eat half of it. And I get this from Walmart. I like the noodles better than the rice, but I just use what I have on hand. Ooh, steaming. All right, so this is how you do it. I just saute it in some, first of all, you take it out of the bag rinse it drain it rinse it really well drain it and put it in here salt pepper garlic it doesn't taste like anything it'll taste like whatever you season it with or whatever kind of sauce you put my sauce is gonna be with this so i'm so sorry i didn't film because this is so yummy i'm telling you all it's good look at that sauce oh man i love mushrooms too so maybe i will cook this again next week and share the recipe there all right y'all i'm gonna eat now time check is 6 39 this is what it looks like all together can't wait to eat i'm happy what is it thursday i have a yummy juicy omelet for myself here my dad made me with some solo bread and a cheese omelet with mushrooms and bell peppers yummy i also have two pieces of bacon girl i'm so excited it's just kind of early it's 9 47 so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and drink my coffee okay we got it's coffee time it's 10 24 just regular coffee unsweetened vanilla uh coconut milk uh liquid stevia mct oil and then just a splash of heavy cream now it's time to eat tonight we have lemon garlic butter shrimp uh, my family's having rice and a salad i'm just gonna have the shrimp and the salad i could put my shrimp on top but i just want to eat them separately i just cooked this in butter minced garlic salt pepper garlic and um on the shrimp and what is it called um oh my gosh what is it called i'm having a brain fart old bay duh <laughs> all over the shrimp it's drizzled olive oil on the shrimp and then I cooked it in butter and then I have on here just tomatoes red onions this is romaine lettuce I get a big pack from Costco this balsamic vinegar is really good but it has a lot of carbs in it one tablespoon is seven grams which is crazy so I just drizzled just like a tiny bit I'd say maybe a half teaspoon and the rest is blue cheese and this is my meal time check it is 6 43 happy Friday Hey, look at this beautiful omelet how you made me. Doesn't it look good? It has mushrooms, onions, tomatoes, um, green peppers in it, two eggs and cheese. And I have a piece of solo bread. Now I got a lot of questions about this bread because I'm going through the comments of last week's 
video. Let me show you. This is the bread. I get it from Costco. That's the cheapest place to get it. Six dollars for two loaves. Two net carbs. It does not knock me out of ketosis, whereas the zero net carb bread from Aldi did. This freezes well. I just take it out of the freezer. Now they have all different types of breads and tortillas, I think, and stuff on their website. So if you don't have it in your local Costco, if you don't have a Costco, you can buy it off the website, but it is more expensive. It was so good. I forgot to tell you guys what time it was. I started eating this at about 10... 50? I feel like I ate too early yesterday and I felt really full. Even though I woke up hungry because I ha we had a light dinner. You know, with a salad. I had a huge salad, so. Anyway, this is it. Alright, it's 11.25. Coffee time. I have mostly unsweetened vanilla coconut milk, which is why this is not really coughing up. A little bit of heavy cream, liquid stevia, NCT oil, and I'm gonna have caramel macchiato. Yummy, it's gonna be so good. Hey y'all, dinner time. I've been working and running for all afternoon. So I'm just now getting ready to eat. It's 6.37. I have the leftover chicken that I made the other night with the mushrooms. And this is my first time actually eating the leftover, that rice that I made. I showed you guys. I usually get it from Walmart. The keto rice. It's really cone jack noodles. You just cut up like rice. So anyway, looks and smells just fine. Then I have my salad here that I'm gonna use blue cheese dressing for. It's gonna be so good. Yeah. Again, time check yeah. is 6.30. Right. Y'all, it was so good. So it's the same company that makes this. I buy it at Walmart. It's, these are not at every Walmart. They're only at one specific Walmart that I have to go to to get them. And the rice is in a red bag, but it's the same noodle, except for, like I said, it's diced up small like rice. Or you can get the spaghetti noodles, and this is really good as well. It's just a good, you just have to watch. It has a lot of fiber. It's, it's zero net carbs, but it's just, I feel, feel super full eating this whole bag. Now I just split the bag in half, even though the serving size is a third of the package. So anyway, there's all I let you know about that. For dessert tonight, y'all, these are a nice little treat. If you see these in your store, girl, pick them up. I bought this randomly at Walmart. These are good. I also have the dark chocolate sea salt peanut butter cups. Those are good too, but I do think the milk chocolate peanut butter cups are a little bit better from, from these Lily's ones. They taste comparable to the Chalk Zero ones, So, but these are a lot cheaper. So anyway, this is going to be my dessert. Yummy. Happy Saturday. I thought I'd show you guys the Birch Bender waffles because I do get questions in the comments about these every week. You can find these, at least I can find them at my Walmart or Target. They're cheaper at Walmart in the frozen section. Now they're not gonna be with the regular waffles. My Walmart has like a freezer section with healthy, quote unquote healthy stuff, like vegan stuff and that kind of stuff. So look in there. Um, at Target, they're with the regular waffles. So just to let you know, this is where I buy them. They also have chocolate chip ones. I'm not a big fan. I just like the plain ones better. Okay, here's my breakfast. I got a keto waffle with butter and my Choc Zero maple syrup. This is my absolute favorite sugar-free syrup. No aftertaste, it literally tastes like log cabin. You can order these off of Amazon or the website chalkzero.com. I'm working on getting a coupon code for y'all to use. Hopefully I'll have one next week. I got some berries. Blackberries are in season right now and they're absolutely delicious. So I try to eat them as much as I can. I have one strawberry, a few raspberries and blueberries and a sausage. So that's my breakfast. Time check it is 10.46. All right y'all, so I'm going to make myself a little treat. I haven't made like a little caramel treat girl in a while, right? With my coffee for those who are just joining our journey. I like to make myself a little caramel treat with my coffee sometimes. I use this Chalk Zero Caramel Syrup. It is so good. I mean, you can bake with this. You can put it on your ice cream. You can put it in your coffee. It's really, really good. Especially if you like caramel. Okay, I'm still gonna put a little bit of liquid stevia. I don't put a whole tablespoon in there. I don't know, I don't eyeball it. I'd say it was like maybe a half a tablespoon or so. I put the MCT oil. This is heavy cream, so it's gonna be really, really creamy and frothy. And then I will put my coffee in. Now the caramel goes to the bottom, but it'll mix up. Good. Um, you see, I don't know if you can see it, it's at the bottom, but. I'm just gonna froth this up. Mmm, yummy, y'all. Looks so good. I've added some whipped cream to it. Time check, it's 12.06. I'm gonna slowly sip this and enjoy it. Okay, y'all, it's family movie night. And I'm so hungry. My husband went to go pick up Jamaican food for me, but I need something else, girl. And to stop me from eating this whole bag of goldfish pretzels, I just ate two. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some keto fries to have with my Jamaican wings. Now, I, I posted a whole video about me trying the my reaction to the uh, keto fries, you could tap this eye right here to watch it. I'm gonna do low carb loves version. Uh, she's on YouTube and she's um, on Instagram, at low carb love is her handle. 
And so I'm gonna follow her directions and see how it turns out. Right, I have a third cup of, well not a third cup, it's 50 grams of coconut um, flour. I use my scale here, I'm sorry it's dark y'all, they're watching a movie. And I have three teaspoons of xanthan gum in here. I'm just gonna mix this around really well. I've got my water boiling. I'm gonna use seven and a half tablespoons of boiling hot water to add in here to make my dough. Now, Low Carb Love adds freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I don't have any freshly grated. She said not to use like the craft or the stuff in the green bottle because it doesn't come out right. That's all I have, so I'm just gonna omit it. But I am gonna add some seasoning to this as well. I think I'm gonna add some black pepper maybe, and some Italian seasoning to this. I think that would be good. I want to, I'm like tempted to do like a little bit of smoked paprika or something. But maybe I should put it on after the dough is formed, right? It probably makes more sense. Okay, I'm kind of move quickly here. I added seven and a half tablespoons of boiling hot water. I'm mixing it up and I'm gonna form my dough ball and let it sit for 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes. Covered it. it. Looks pretty good. It looks better than last time. Put my timer on. Here's the Jamaican food I caught. Jerk wings, cabbage. Got the sauce on the side, girl, because you know that's not keto. And my french fries is gonna be dessert, kind of. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now. Time check is 7 05. All right, y'all, it's been 15 minutes. I got my oil heated up in my cast iron. Now I'm gonna flatten this out. All right, y'all, so I'm only gonna do half of my dough because I don't wanna fry too much, and this freezes really well. So you can just pop it out the freezer when you're ready to have french fries again or whatever you're gonna make. There's lots of things. People have made so much with this recipe, so I'm just gonna cut these little mini fries up this section and fry it up. Oh, y'all, I am so excited. It's salt, some smoked paprika I put up on them. Baby, I got my sugar-free ketchup. This is a treat. So if your whole family's been eating fried foods and you're like, oh, there you go, baby. This is it. All right, last meal of the day, 7.36. All right, now this is the last thing I promised y'all for dessert tonight. I'm so excited. I'm only eating one piece. So it is five minus two, two net carbs. So this is be one net carb with one. Happy Sunday, friends. So I'm making breakfast. These are little Smokies. These are for my husband. Um, my girls will eat a couple of them because they ate already. And these are for me. And so I'm going to put a little bit of my chalk syrup, syrup, I only have a little bit left in here and some monk fruit sweetener, brown sugar, and it's gonna be good. Put a touch of maple syrup in and some monk fruit golden sweetener. And these are browning up really nicely. I have the fire on medium in a nonstick pan. Here are my husband's and the girls there. I put more syrup in there because I had more. <laughs> and some regular brown sugar in here. So this is gonna be yummy. Turn the fire up on this one because this is a bigger pan. And I'm gonna have some toast, solo bread with this, and some fruit. And that's gonna be my breakfast. Cannot wait to eat these, y'all. These are so good. <laughs> Again, it's one tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener and a little bit of the maple syrup from Chalk Zero. So, time check, it's 11.52. All right, y'all. This is straight heavy cream, y'all. I'm gonna shoot on this Sunday, Sunday, okay? And I added um, with the tea wheel to this. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Chalk Zero Caramel Syrup. I want it nice and creamy and frothed up, girl. My coffee, I'm gonna slowly sip this. Ooh, y'all, this is a treat, girl. First with the little Smokies, that was a treat, and now this, yes. Time check, it's 12.21. For me, for dinner tonight, I'm having Steakums. My family's having chili. That looks absolutely delicious with ground turkey, but of course, there, there are ways to eat keto chili, but I prefer to have beans in mine, so. I am just not gonna have that. I'm gonna have a steakums and a salad. So here I'm just cooking the steakums. I sauteed some onions and peppers. And I'm gonna put this on a low carb tortilla. Fry a low carb tortilla to make it like a, I don't know, like a hard taco shell. And then I'll make myself a salad. This is how much I use. The steakums are separated by these um, parchment paper. I, so I take out three of those um, pieces and this is how much it makes. This is enough, and now I'm gonna get ready to saute my tortilla so that it makes it nice and uh, crunchy. All right, so I got my tortilla down, put some butter in the pan. It's on medium high, and I'm gonna quickly add my meat, my sausage and peppers, and some mozzarella cheese, and then I will fold it over like a taco shell. And then I'll eat it that way, and I'm gonna make myself a salad as well. Ooh, girl, doesn't this look good? See what I'm saying? It makes the crust a little bit 
harder and I just like it like that, like the crunch of it. Here's my dinner at 6.02. I put a little bit of Duke's mayos on, mayo on the side. It's like a Philly cheesesteak. Even though I'll probably be full after this, I'm probably gonna make myself have a salad still anyway, just so that I can get my greens in. Girl, this is seriously one of my favorite keto meals. It's so easy and it's so good. So that's what I ate all week. There were a couple of times where I had some Lily's dark chocolate chips that I did not film, but I did have those a little bit more, especially on the weekend and then also you know those little smokies that i made with the chalk zero maple syrup well i made some for my family as you saw with regular maple syrup and i did taste the maple syrup like in my hand it was really good like with my finger after they ate when i was getting ready to clean the pan yeah but that was it and so yeah uh like i said i was losing weight up until thursday like i had lost an a, an additional two pounds like i lost two pounds um, as of Thursday, but then girl, when I got on the scale this Monday, I, are you ready for this? Lost nothing. Like I either, I gained the two pounds back. It's like, so for the week I lost absolutely nothing, not even 0.1 of a pound, like nothing, not even milch, nada. So I'm just like, why didn't I lose weight? But my cycle days, my cycle's getting ready to come any day now. And you know, for me, at least five to six days before I get my cycle, I'm just like raging, ready to eat everything. And I think that's what it is. Cause I, you know, I've been doing really well. It's hard. The closer we get to Christmas, the harder it is. Like I would love a glass of eggnog. And I know they have keto eggnog, but I'm just gonna wait until Christmas day so I can just have the real thing. Like cinnamon rolls and I'm just looking forward to breakfast brunch. Cause like my sweet tooth is starting to pick up. I'm not really a sweet person. Usually the carbs that I indulge in are breads or chips or anything like that. Hi baby, grim rising honey. My girls are up so. Yeah, no, I don't talk about this in front of them at all, but to make a long story short, I just didn't lose anything. So there's no before and after pictures this week because I lost absolutely nothing, but I'm still pushing forward. I'm still moving forward. I'm not gonna harp on it. It is what it is. We've got, what, one more week until Christmas, which is wild, right? So how are you guys doing? Leave a comment down below and let me know how you guys are doing, how you guys are feeling. Do you feel, um, like confident going into the whole you know Christmas or you know I know between Christmas and New Year's it can be really tough but you know at least we're like starting now and not like waiting until January 1st so if you're one of those people who's like doing research now because you want to wait until January 1st don't just start it now um, just start doing what you want to do now. So that is my little advice for the week. Before you go guys, today is the first video of Vlogmas. So you'll see a video from me every day on this channel through Christmas and I cannot wait to share more with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps my channel out. I love you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.